Hey everyone, welcome to Michelle's Tasty Dishes. Today we are making blackened mahi-mahi fish. So come on, join me in the kitchen. For the spices, you're going to need paprika, cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and everything spicy seasoning. Now you're going to need three to four slices of mahi-mahi, and you want to pat them dry on each side. What is your favorite fish to work with? Mahi-mahi is one of my favorites because it's a flaky white fish. All right, once you get both sides patted dry, you're gonna mix that seasoning um, all together. Now you can change the seasoning up if you want. Um, put as much as you want in each. These were, you, these were about a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon on some. I don't measure a lot. I just kind of go with it and mix it together. And you can do the same and put your favorite seasonings on. Or if there's something in this you didn't like, you can just leave it out. But what you're gonna do is coat each side of the fish um, with the seasoning. And then you're gonna give it a rub so it gets all in there well and then you're going to flip and you are going to do the same on the other side i think these seasonings work really good together and the everything spicy is from flavor gods just uh, thought i'd mention that but you can use cayenne pepper if you want it um, or whatever or if you didn't want the spice in it at all you could leave that out so you're going to go ahead and do the other side and then give it a good rub in on this side if you haven't yet please go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, give us a like so that you know when we have new videos going up leave us a comment and let us know um, what you think about this recipe or if you use some different seasoning i'd love to know because i'm always willing to try something new um, but let us know in the comments and we have more than cooking we also have box openings and other things all right next you're going to have um, your skillet heated with some butter two tablespoons of butter or you could use two tablespoons of oil whichever you prefer and let that heat up and then you're going to go ahead and stick your fish in the nice heated skillet and you're going to let these cook for only about four minutes three to four minutes on each side because if they cook too long they will get rubbery and you want them nice and flaky when you cut into them Make sure that oil or butter is under all the pieces so that they get a good sear on each side. It does not take mahi-mahi long at all to cook. You do not want to overcook it. So just let that sear, like I said, about three to four minutes and then flip. All right, it's been cooking for about four minutes, so we're going to flip. And then we're going to do about three to four minutes on the other side. You can see that nice crust that it forms from that seasoning. And then just let it cook for about another three minutes and then it's done. And there you have it guys, blackened mahi-mahi fish. Delicious, flaky, yummy, delicious. I served this with some corn that I peeled off the cob and fried and some homemade hush puppies. I will post that link for those in this. As always, God bless. 